Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Well, so you're thinking about buying a tractor, huh? I mean, that's what the title of this video was. So, uh, you know, if you're not thinking about it, you're just watching this channel for the fun of it, which is fine too. But uh, you're thinking about buying a tractor, and you're thinking about a compact tractor, small one, even smaller than compact, subcompact. Well, that's what we have here. This is a Kubota BX25. All right, this is a model that was built in 2012, and this particular tractor has 260 hours on it. In in uh, the lifespan of a tractor, 260 hours. This thing is just a baby. All right, it hasn't. Well, it's, maybe it's been broke in, but it's got a lot of life left in it. This tractor could go 2,000, 3,000 hours, even possibly more, without too much work, you know, general maintenance, but without an engine overhaul or anything like that. This tractor should last about 3,000 hours. Um, so I've had it for I think this is the fourth year that I've had it I bought it used I bought it used with 46 hours on it and I thought I was pretty lucky to get the deal that I did um, in fact when I bought it it was on it was online for a private seller and I waited nine months nine full months for him to finally accept my offer and uh, you know the guy selling it wasn't too happy that I was getting such a great deal but I sure was so I got a great deal on this and it has been a lifesaver it has a mid mount mower it has a front loader it has a backhoe it also has if you see up in the rafters I have a front mount snow blower I also store my back blade up there. Now, why do I store it in the garage? Why do I store it up there? I'll tell you why. I live on a small residential lot. It's a third acre. That's all I got. And this tractor is perfect for this. Now, I could go out and I could buy a cheap little cub cadet or a little you know craftsman mower or a, one of those green ugly john deere things but you know I, and i might spend two thousand dollars on one of those or you know between fifteen hundred and two thousand and i might get you know maybe three seasons out of it maybe four seasons out of it but it's it's not the same because i will get you know maybe 20 years or more out of this machine that I got so there's a difference between quality and engineering and you need to pay a little bit more money to get the quality and to get the fine engineering that goes into a machine like this so if you're thinking about it if you are like me and you got a small residential lot and you're like oh I really love tractors but you're not too sure that you should get one because your wife is saying you don't need a tractor you live in a small lot get one you'll love it um, I've been doing a lot of jobs for my neighbors lately um, you know you're you're a pretty uh, handy neighbor when you have a tractor neighbors find uses for you so one neighbor who had a, a playground system in his backyard that he was getting rid of well it was probably about a 25 by 25 area full of P rock that was down for the playground and everything well I used my tractor to help help him get rid of that it was great it was a perfect little job for a tractor like this and then he hauled in some black dirt and he needed help with that I, you know I saw him over there with a wheelbarrow a couple times and I shook my head and I said yeah silly neighbor so I went over and I helped him do that uh, made short work of it uh, 
Then another neighbor of mine, he's putting in a concrete slab next to his garage for his uh, dog kennel. Well, I removed eight inches of topsoil for that job. In fact, I, I have a dump trailer, which is another thing you should get if you have one of these, because they're, uh, they're a good match. Um, so I loaded up my dump trailer uh, three, on three separate, three separate times, three full loads of dirt, and I posted it on Facebook and I sold that dirt. You know, I sold it for a pretty good price. Um, Seventy-five dollars delivered. You know, locally, that's pretty easy. You can't you can't get that kind of deal around here. So, I I've done a lot of things with a machine like this. And if you're thinking about getting one, go out and buy one. It's a worthwhile investment. I think Kubota has a zero percent financing. It might be like eighty-four months zero percent financing for one of these. And that's that's a pretty darn good deal. You can't really beat that. And the warranty and the, the service uh, quality that they provide is just top notch. So go get one. Right now I'm on my way to my neighbor's. I got the backhoe hooked up. I got the front end loader. He needs a little bit of dirt moved for a little swimming pool that he's going to put in. He wants six inches of topsoil moved and leveled. So that's where we're going. Um, just another and to use for a machine like this so come along for the ride and and you can watch and see how much fun it is all right stay tuned
Well, there you have it, everybody. That's uh, the BX25 is an amazing machine. So even if you're a residential lot like myself, where you just love tractors and got a small yard, go buy yourself one. Um, Kubota is probably, not probably, Kubota is the leading manufacturer in subcompact tractors. Um, there's others that come close. I would say the John Deere um, 1025R is probably getting closer to the 25D, but uh, Kubota just came out with a new subcompact to replace the 25D, and it's called the um, Kubota BX23S. Uh, it has all of the features that I have. Uh, you know, it comes standard with the back cone loader. Um, you can definitely put a mower deck and you can put a snow blower on it, back blade, you know, whatever other implements you want to put on it. Um, but it's probably, uh, it, well, again, it is the premier subcompact tractor on the market right now. Um, nothing really comes close to that. Uh, John Deere has made very limited improvements on their model. Uh, a little disappointed about that. I, I would hope that they would be a little bit more competitive in that market, but. Um, you know they failed to do so so you know if you want a brand new one the BX 23 s is uh, the premier subcompact tractor to get so go get one you know I mean what are you waiting for go go buy one so uh, Kubota if you're watching you know send me send me a few bucks I'll keep advertising for you um, all right Keep on tractor and everybody, or keep on wishing that you're a tractor and everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, this is, you know, the third neighbor I've been doing a little project for. So digging dirt, it's been kind of fun. Um, you can always find something to do when you have a tractor. And if you can't find something to do, other people in your neighborhood are going to find stuff to do for you, which is great. Sometimes you get a gas cards. Sometimes you get. Uh, money, it's, uh, it's it's great. Like I, my other neighbor, I sold his dirt, so easy money for me, and I enjoyed doing the work. So I think we'll wrap her up. Keep on watching, subscribe, like, love to read comments. Mm -hmm.